Well, at all, here we are. This is Felgana. I was hoping we'd get here a little earlier in the day, but I wasn't expecting the waters to be so rough. Still, this place does bring back memories. Hard to believe it's really been eight years since I left. There's Margo, I always called her Mams, and old Gardner, not to mention Chester, and Elena. <laughs> I wonder how they're doing after all this time. Oh man, what the hell happened here? This monument's dedicated to the god of safe journeys. It's a relic of the old religion, from when people believed that spirits existed even in stuff that wasn't alive. I just don't get why anyone would deface it like this, though. I guess maybe the rumors really are true. What was that? It came from over there! Hey! Wait up, Adol! Damn it, left behind again. No way! You gotta be kidding me! What the hell are monsters doing in Felgana? Monsters? Here? What are they doing this close to town? Chester? Excuse me. Thank you very much for saving me. You're a traveler, aren't you? Um, are you hurt at all? Hey! <sighs> are you alright at all? Right when you ran off, I got attacked by monsters too. I'd like to know what the hell those things are doing in Felgana. Whoops! Excuse me. I guess they must have been after you. Are you okay, miss? You don't look like you're hurt, at least. Huh? What's wrong? Is something on my face? Am I, like, covered in monster gore? We should probably get moving and head to town before we're attacked again. I can't say I recognize your face, but you've got to live in Redmond, I figure- Togi? Uh- I knew it! I must be dreaming! Dogi, you're actually back! What have you been doing all this time? Hey, hold on a second now! You obviously know me, but do I know you? How can you even say that? You, me, and my brother used to play together all the time when we were kids. Don't you dare tell me you've forgotten. Oh, no way! When I last saw you, you were just a, a skinny little tomboy! Well, that was eight years ago. I'm 17 now. Man, you sure are. I'm sorry, where are my manners? It's nice to meet you. And, again, thank you very much for your help. My name is Elena. Elena Stoddart.
Eleanor, where have you been? You had me worried sick, staying out so late. I'm sorry, Mr. Gardner. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. I just... Uh, it's okay, Eleanor. As long as you're all right, we'll pretend this never happened. So, who are your two friends? I don't believe I recognize either one of them. <laughs> Look a little closer. You'll get it in a second. Huh? Hey there, Gardner! Still standing at the gate like always, I see. Wait! Dogie! Is... is that really you? <laughs> yeah, I guess I've been a little out of touch. I'm sorry. My favorite little troublemaker has come home! Where have you been all this time? And what have you been up to? Well, you know, wandering, killing monsters, saving the world. The usual. Anyway, I brought a pal of mine along. Go on, Adol, introduce yourself. Adol introduced himself to Gardner. An adventurer, eh? Well, that's certainly a rarity. But from the looks of that sword on your belt, I can tell you're no amateur. No, he's quite remarkable. I was attacked by monsters just now, and he came right to my rescue. Is that a fact? Hmm. Well then, you have my thanks, good sir. Uh, I'm sorry I wasn't there to help. That's the problem with gate duty. You miss all the real trouble out in the field. Does raise a point worth discussing, though. Why are there monsters here in the first place? We'd heard rumors that Felgan has fallen on hard times. But I had no idea it had gotten so bad. Yeah, things certainly aren't looking up these days. It's been pretty bad for around a year now. We're rarely visited by anyone anymore as a result. No travelers, no merchants. Man... That sucks. Well, it's getting late. You can tell me all about where you've been and what you've done come morning. For now, you should head on in and get some sleep. I bet you're exhausted after what you've been through. <laughs> this place sure hasn't changed much either. I used to live and work at this inn when I was a kid. I owe Mams a lot for looking after me back then. Hey, Elena, go get Chester, would you? I haven't seen him in so long, and we can't have a reunion party if everyone's not here. I'm sorry. He's not in town right now. What? Oh, no way! Oh well, what can you do? He's probably pretty busy. I'm afraid I'll be taking my leave for the night as well. My long absence likely had a few people worried, so I really should let them know I'm okay. Yeah, go ahead. We'll be fine here for the night. We're probably gonna hang out a little before we go to bed. By the way, are you and Chester still living with the mayor? Oh no, he and I have a house on the edge of town now. It's just... Hmm? Something wrong? Oh, it's nothing, really. I guess I'll be off then. It was nice to meet you, Adol, and good to see you again, Dogi. I know you two must be tired from your journey. Please, take it easy and get some rest, okay? She's acting kind of strange. Eh, probably just been a rough day for her. Man, though, she sure has filled out nicely. And she's got that whole childhood friend thing going for her, too. Now, who am I kidding, though? She's gonna fall for you, not for me. That's always how it goes. Uh, let's just get inside. Dogie? Oh! 
I can't believe it! It's really you! My little nightmares come home! And look at those muscles! You've grown so big! Last time I saw you, you were just a pudgy little brat! <laughs> yeah, it's me. I'm back. You're looking well. You know, I haven't heard a peep out of you since you left. Would it be so much to ask for some kind of contact? Oh, I'm sorry, ma'ams. Well, I always figured you'd do well for yourself. It certainly is nice to see you back safely, though. And you're a friend of Dogie's, then? Adol gave his name and explained that he had been traveling with Dogie for quite some time. I see. Well, thank you for looking after our little wayward wanderer. Unfortunately, you've arrived at a pretty bad time. Lots of unpleasant business going on lately. But still, happy events like these are rare, so I intend to enjoy this while I can. Ma'ams. You two boys must be hungry. Let me fix you up a nice big meal. So then, how is the investigation coming along? You have nothing to worry about, my lord. We've already confirmed their locations. The Tigre Quarry, the Oberns Ruins, and the Sacred Mountains of Eldon. All that now remains is to organize the men and begin our search in earnest. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Once I possess what I seek, my might and majesty will be known far and wide. Indeed. Perhaps my homeland could lay claim to all of Europa. <laughs> Either way, this certainly should be an enjoyable undertaking. Wouldn't you agree? In your hands, my lord, I'm certain that dream will become a reality. <laughs> Indeed it will. In I leave the search in your hands. Make certain it continues without interruption. I expect good news forthwith. You do me great honor. I pledge you my success, Lord Maguire. I shall see to it that your faith in me is not misplaced. Here, I think I'm gonna swing by the Elder Mountains for a bit to visit my old master. He's the one who taught me everything I know about fighting, back when I was a kid. If anyone would know the reason for all the monsters showing up around here, he'd be the one. I won't be gone long, though. You should relax and tour the town. If you have any questions, you can ask Elena. She said her house was on the outskirts of town, so I'm sure it won't be too tough to find. I'm off for now. See you later, buddy. Are you a traveler by any chance? 
That sword looks like it's seen a lot of action. This store deals in weapons and armor, along with a handful of our own specially selected curios. The boss is a bit eccentric, but you'll be hard-pressed to find a better smithy anywhere else in the world. He's choosy about his clientele, though, so don't be offended if he turns you away at first. What do you want? I'm Adonis. I own this shop. And if my appearance hasn't given it away yet, I'm happy to confirm that yes, I'm a smithy. Huh. From the looks of that sword, you know what you're doing, at least. But I make it a rule to refine weapons and armor for people I like, and only people I like. Sorry, but you may as well just head home. with me, stranger. Please just leave me be. You're too young to have gone deaf. Please, just get out of here. I don't believe we've met. Which means you must be Adol, that friend of Dogie's I've been hearing so much about. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is Nell, and I'm a devotee of the church. Is it true that you saved Elena from a pack of wild monsters? Words cannot express how thankful we are for that. I've pledged myself to this church for many a year, and have known the Stoddart children since they were very little. They've always regarded me as a big sister to them, Sister with a small S, that is. And I've always regarded them in kind. Which is why traumatic events like last night's unpleasantness affect me so. Oh, you must be Adol. It's nice to meet you. I'm Father Jean-Pierre, pastor of this church. Ellen has had quite a lot to say about you. I understand you're the one who saved her when she was ambushed by a pack of monsters. For that, I must truly thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm certain that Elena had her reasons for being out so late. She denied any, of course, claiming it was just a flight of fancy. But I feel there's more to it than that. If I pressure her to tell me things she wishes to hide, though, I can see no good coming of it. Ah, but I digress. Please forgive me. This is our very first meeting, and here I am, babbling away. May God's blessings be with you in your travels. If anything ever troubles you, always remember, the church's doors are open. Come by any time, day or night. Oh, good morning, Adol. Is Dogi not with you today? Adol explained that Dogi had gone to visit his old master, 
in the Elder Mountains. Oh, that's... well, it's not very nice of him, to be honest. He hasn't even shown you around yet. But that's Dogi for you. Eight years ago, he suddenly decided he simply had to go on a journey of self-discovery. To become a man, he said. I wasn't fond of the idea myself, but Chester sternly opposed it. The two of them got into quite a scuffle. They did make up right as Dogi was about to leave, though. To be honest, I have something I need to tell Dogi. Remember yesterday, when I said Chester was out of town? Well, that's true, but he actually hasn't been back in over six months. He left a note for me on the day he vanished. It just said, I won't be back for a while. I haven't heard anything from him at all since then. Not a word. I'm not sure how to tell Dogi. After he came all this way... Sorry. I don't mean to dump all my apprehensions on you. When he gets back, I guess I'll just have to give it to him straight. I'm sure Dogi will take the news well after all he's seen and done with you. As well as he can, anyway. How many were there? Uh, I'm not sure, but there were definitely a lot. More than I've ever seen before. Uh, who are you? Adol introduced himself and asked what was happening. M monsters started gushing out of one of the deep mine shafts in the Tigray Quarry. That's east of here. We only just barely made it out of there alive. But Mayor Edgar is still inside. Uh, so Dewey, uh, that's the head miner, asked me to go into town and get some help. Uh, anybody who's willing and able. Dogie could do this job easily, but he left town a short while ago. Probably too far away to track him down now. I can't go myself either, since I'm the only one trained in defensive combat around here. I've got to guard the town. At all, I hate to ask, but we could really use your strength. Would you put your adventurous skills to use for us? Yes, please. It would mean a great deal to me as well. The mayor, Dewey, and even Paul are in grave danger right now. Thank you so much for this. I can't even imagine how to repay you. We're in your debt, Adol. Here, I've got a map of Felgana. You might need it. You should also make sure you're well prepared, as it sounds like you'll be fighting some monsters in there. Take this, and use it to get your equipment refined. Go talk to Adonis, the town's smithy. Tell him I sent you. He's a stubborn one, but he knows how to pound metal like nobody's business. I do hate asking you to put your life at risk for us, but we need you right now. Show us. Oh, it's you again. Doesn't matter how many times you talk to me. I pick and choose my own clientele, and I do not choose you. Adol relayed Gardner's message. You serious? Gardner sent you? Guess that means you'll take good care of my work, if nothing else. Well, if Gardner says you're good news, then you're good news. I can augment your sword, armor, and shield here. Just hand them over, and I'll make them better. Well, if you got enough Ravel ore for the job, anyway. Monsters often get it stuck in their fur or claws and will drop it when killed. I'll have to charge you a service fee too though, or else Cynthia's gonna put up a fuss like you wouldn't believe. And the price varies per piece, as we've got this whole quality chart system in place. So, what have you got for me? You're part of my clientele now, Adol Kristen, so feel free to come on by anytime you need work done. What do you got for me? This the one? Good to go. Come again. 